Wire on. Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, this is going to be another tutorial on Clip Studio Paint on how to make frames on your comic book page. So let's go to new and let's open up a template that we created. If you don't know how to create the template, you can go to my first video. I'll, ha I'll leave the link in the description of how to create that. So let's open that up. And now, um, when you create frames in on your comic book page, um, you can certainly do it the uh, traditional way, or the not the manual way, I guess you would call it, uh, where you just pick your pen, give it a thickness of your brush, and just start putting in panels um, however you want. But uh, Clip Studio Paint has a tool that helps you create some pretty awesome panels. Um, so let's look at that tool right now. I'm just going to open up a new fresh uh, page. There's this little icon right here. It's called frames. Um, the first one is the rectangular frame and you just pretty much click and drag uh, how big you want your rectangular frame. Now what that'll do is it'll give you a, um, a mask in purple and you can also change the brush size so the border of your frame can change depending on how you want it. Um, and so here you can see there's two frames and both created different masks and so I'll just minimize the masks here um, but that's um, the dark area is where you cannot draw and then the white area is where you're going to draw and so you can clearly see here there's two two distinct masks for uh, one for each panel so if you go into one of the masks and you just choose the layer inside that mask you can pretty much draw um, and you don't have to worry about overshooting or drawing outside the border because the mask uh, won't allow you to draw outside um, the in the inside of the square now you can zoom in and then um, you can just start drawing whatever um, whatever you want your whatever event your has going on in the uh, particular frame um, I'm just doing a really quick sketch here it's just um, just a sketch right um, but I mean I don't have to um, I don't have to worry about uh, going outside the the frame because the border is protecting me from drawing outside so I can draw as crazy as I want and not worry about drawing outside of it now uh, there is uh, what I usually do is uh, when I want to see the whole page by itself I click the white paper down below there and it gives me an overall view of what what the uh, page looks like um, so now we're going to there's other types of frames you don't have to just do rectangular this is polyline one where you basically just click uh, certain points of how you want your frame shaped and you can come up with whatever weird shape you want and before um, when you hit enter it'll connect your last two point your first point with your last point so you don't have to try to match it up all you gotta do is hit press enter um, again you can change the brush size to thicken or, or thin the the border area this other one is a pen it's basically just freehand um, freehand draw your your border and it creates a mask so y you can do it the manual way again and not only will you you can draw it however you want it'll create a mask for you and again it just uh, it won't let you draw outside of that uh, particular area. Now, the way I like to draw um, frames is um, I like to evenly space my frames. Um, I don't know, maybe it's g engineering me. I, everything has to line up <laughs> the same. Um, and so, well, you know what? Let me just open up an example of a comic book page I'm working on or that I've just finished of a book I'm doing. Um, and so here it is. So 
the top panel, the very top panel, you have the like the introduction of the location of where my story takes place. Um, and then you have these uh, six panels down here, uh, perfectly squared, and they're all the same size. Um, and yeah, it was just no effort. I didn't have to guess um, each individual panel size. It just, the Clip Studio program did it automatically for me. The way I did that was I just cho choose a rectangular frame. I choose a, a brush size to give it whatever thickness I want. And this is arbitrary. You can choose whatever you want. And when you click the, s the corner, it'll automatically snap into the, to the safe. Uh, so it just borders out the safe zone. So this created um, a, a frame. And so what you want to do is select the frame um, and then go up to layers um, and then the ruler. And then uh, this divide frames equally. Um, and then here you just choose um, how many frames you want uh, how many frames you want in in that inside that frame um, so it's kind of creating frames inside a frame and so I'm choosing three by three and you'll notice that if your frame is diagonal you can choose this third option and it'll make your frames uh, match the outside of your uh, your mask your mainframe um, sides so if it's tilted they'll be tilted but I want them straight up and down so I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna hit OK and it's going to create uh, individual um, individual f um, masks for me separate them and so I'm just gonna collapse them so I don't have to keep scrolling so so I created nine frames in total and they're all the same size and they're evenly spaced and that's the way I like to do it. Now, um, one thing that I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe somebody in the comments can tell me, is um, the spacing in between the frames. I don't know how to control that. Um, I It just comes up that way. Um, so if, if somebody knows how to, I've messed with these options here where you click this little properties and then, uh, but it doesn't seem to change anything I don't know so I just leave it like that uh, all I know is that um, my frames are the same size and they're evenly spaced now the way I got this um, uh, top portion up here to be just one uh, frame by itself is simply uh, you click the first frame and you hold down the shift button and you click the other two frames so one, two, and three should be selected. You go down to ruler again, and you hit uh, combine frames, and you want to combine the borders. Uh, you hit OK, and what it is, what it does, is it combines all the the f those three frames, and then um, so it's just one one frame, and it's masked together. Now, what I did was I wanted to draw all the way to the bleed area. I mean all the way to the ends of the page and the way I did that is simple you just simply delete the layer and once you delete the layer um, that particular frame up there becomes the layer uh, down here that's outside of th all the um, frame or the yeah the frame uh, folders I guess you can call them and so now you can just draw on that layer and you'll see that um, because those those uh, masked folders are above that layer, then they'll appear above uh, that layer too, almost like as they're floating on top of it. And so now you can um, draw inside each individual uh, panel, and it won't affect the the bottom layer. Um, so you can pretty much draw uh, without going into going into the other other layers and so yeah that's that's what it looks like that's how I achieved this um, it allowed me to draw the school uh, all the way to the ends and then as I was working on each individual uh, frame or panel um, I would go into those folders and just start just start drawing and c putting layer upon layers inside the frame um, of the final result. 
So um, I hope this was informative. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's like